What's up everyone? I recently did a video covering the top five items that I use pretty much on every interior of any car that I clean. Well, on today's video, I wanted to touch on the top five items for the exterior so that you guys have a good understanding of everything you need. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay guys, so number one, the first most important thing you need to have an efficient car washing experience when you're dealing with the exterior is a pressure washer. Now, there's a million different pressure washers out there. I've reviewed, I don't know how many of them, it's kind of silly um, how many I've done, but I wanted to touch base on something with you really quickly and talk about the most important features of your pressure washer. It's not the wheels, it's not the accessory storage, it's not the accessories that it comes with because I'll tell you something, the accessories that 90% of these things come with, you're gonna wanna replace anyway. They're either too short of a hose or the hose just kinks really bad and it's just really cumbersome to work with. Um, I have a whole list of uh, the top five pressure washer upgrades. I'll link it uh, either up here or down in the description for you guys. But a super important one is the uh, pressure washer hose. I use an Uberflex hose. You can get them in different sizes, 30 feet, 50 feet. I, I prefer the 50 footer um, just so that I can get around the cars easier. Uh, but if you're interested in all that, take a look at that video. But the, one of the most important things about your pressure washer is its flow. So basically 1800 PSI, that's totally fine. What I do is I adjust the nozzles to reduce the pressure. I typically like to run between 1000 and 1200 PSI about there and then try and get as much GPM or gallons per minute that I possibly can. This little unit here is rated at 1800 PSI, 1.2 GPM. Um, by, changing, by changing out the orifice uh, of the nozzle uh, to a larger one, it reduces the pressure. I think I get it down to like basically a thousand. I think I'm getting 1.4 GPM. I can't remember the exact numbers. Um, again, I have a list of all these pressure washers. So if you're interested in a specific one, look it up. You'll be able to find it and all the numbers will be there. So, But if you don't want to go through the archive of videos that I have on pressure washers, I'll let you know right now, a fantastic choice for your car washing needs is Actually, it's really cheap. Um, it's the Portland electric pressure washer from Harbor Freight. Now with that pressure washer, you have to upgrade the hose and the pressure washer wand. Otherwise you can't get the numbers that you're, I'm talking about. But once you do that, you can change out the orifice uh, of the nozzle and you can get that thing up to, I think I was getting 1.8 gallons per minute at about 1,000 PSI. So fantastic numbers out of that one. Definitely check that one out. Number two on the list uh, goes along with the pressure washer, but it's a part of the wash process and that is a foam cannon. Uh, basically what the foam cannon does is it attaches onto the pressure washer uh, gun or wand, attaches there, the soap is in here and you blast it and it covers the vehicle in soap. Why do I like that? It just makes my life more efficient. When you have the soap sitting on the paint like that, it gives it a chance to break down all the contamination on the paint so that it's a little bit easier to get off when you go in for your contact wash. So a foam cannon is fantastic. This one is the MJJC Foam Cannon Pro. This one's unbranded. You can get the unbranded ones available on my website. I'll link that down in the description for you guys. Um, I'll also put a link to the MJJC branded ones you can get on Amazon. They're a little more expensive and take longer to ship. That's why I brought them in um, so I can get them out to you guys faster. But these are a fantastic choice. You can also go with with, now this this foam cannon is about 70 bucks it's 70 bucks 69.95 or something like that on my site on Amazon it's up to 78 bucks I believe um, if you don't want to spend that kind of money I will tell you this one gets more foam than any of the other ones I've tested other than uh, some two others that are actually more expensive than this one so value wise this one's definitely my favorite but you can also just get an Amazon basics foam cannon it's it's decent it does the job um, it's, you're not going to get as thick a foam as you do with this one, but if you change out the orifice inside to a 1.1 millimeter orifice, and again, I have videos on how to do that. I'll link in the description for you guys. Um, it will help you get more foam. Now it still won't be quite as thick as th this one, but again, I think that foam cannon's sub $20. So just whatever works best for you. Okay. Number three is brushes and towels. I kind of lumped all this together and it's kind of a loaded section anyways, brushes. There's quite a few. So let's jump into it really quickly. After I have the car all foamed up, um, I like using this one. This is a super, super soft brush. You don't have to worry about it scratching the paint because it's so soft. This one's from Max Shine. A bunch of other companies make them. I'll link them in the description for you guys below. Additionally, I have these on my website. This is a tire scrubbing brush. I like to spray down my tires, get all that junk out of the actual rubber of the tire. So when you go in and dress it, it leaves it a nice perfect finish. You want to get all that stuff out so that 
the dressing adheres to it properly. This one's really nice. It's sorry, it's really dirty because I've used it all the time. Um, but this is contoured, so it fits the side sidewall of your tire. So really, really nice. And then on for low profile tires, you can just use it this way, come back back and forth at it like that. Really, really fantastic brush. Um, on top of that, I also use my wheel brush. So this one again is on my site. I'll link some down in the description that are similar. Um, but this is fantastic because it's so soft and so dense. This one's dirty because this one is the one that I use for my um, uh, dressing tire dressing application. I did a whole video on that as well. It's like you're painting it in so you're not getting any fling, especially when you're doing the bigger all-terrain tires. Um, but I also keep a separate one in my truck for cleaning the face of the wheel. So this thing, again, it's soft. It's not gonna scratch your wheel. Even black wheels, just you know, pre-treat them properly and you, you won't have any issues. Uh, and you're able to get in there. It's soft, uh, so it really gets into every little nook and cranny. And then last but not least, another wheel brush is one where you can actually get in to access the barrel of the wheel behind, your, behind the face of the wheel. Really important as well, especially for a professional detailer, getting in there and getting all that stuff, looking at its best is important. I don't have one here with me, it's in my truck. I will uh, link them down in the description below, put a couple pictures or something, and you'll be good to go. Now, when I'm talking about microfiber towels, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be talking about a couple different ones. I have these basic ones. These are a 300 GSM edgeless. These come, again, I don't wanna be too repetitive, but these are available on my site. I will also link some in, the description below to ones on Amazon that are similar. Um, but the reason I love these, they are edgeless, so there's no seam there, and they come tagless as well. You don't have to worry about ripping a tag out, and you don't have to worry about anything being left over that could potentially scratch the paintwork on your car. Now, I personally don't use a wash mitt 90% of the time. Uh, sometimes I do, but typically, I'll just fill a bucket of water, throw these in there, so instead of uh, using a wash mitt and then having it to dunk it into multiple buckets to clean it before I go and touch the paint again. These, I'll just clean the area. As soon as it starts to get soiled, I'll toss it to the side, go to a new one and keep moving along that way. Those are also great for applying some protection. Like if you're using ceramic detail spray, they work fantastic for that. Now another towel that I want to talk about is a drying towel. This one again is from Max Shine, um, but tons of companies make these twist loop style drying towels. They're my favorite type of drying towel. I did a whole video comparing a bunch of different drying towels. Twist loops are fantastic. Rag, the Rag Company also makes one, I think it's called the Gauntlet, which is partially twist loop, partially kind of a plush towel. That thing's also really, really cool. Um, so I'll have those linked in the description for you guys as well. Alrighty, so number four on the list is some sort of a blower. Um, when you're washing a car, you're getting it all wet and things seem to settle in like where your uh, side view mirrors are, where uh, in a little gas door to blow all that kind of stuff out. You need a blower. So you can either use a just a basic garden blower or you can get dedicated uh, little blowers for vehicles. I did a review on one of the past that actually had a heating, uh, heating element in it, which is super cool. I use that one in my shop. Um, it's actually from SGCB, I believe is the brand, um, right up here. But anyways, back to this. This is what I use 90% of the time just because it has a lot of power. Now with these, there's two ratings that you wanna look at. There's CFM, which is basically volume of air going, and then miles per hour, which is obviously the speed of the air. I like to have, basically, it's, it's really difficult. This one is higher CFM, lower miles per hour. I have another one that I use is high miles per hour, lower CFM. But basically what I do is I multiply those two numbers together and as long as it's above like 70,000 or something like that, I know it's gonna get the job done properly for me. Okay, so number five is, now again, this is things that I use on every car um, and that is a couple of chemicals. Now, number one is a dressing. Now, I like a water-based dressing, um, sprayable as well. So you can apply it to your tires, you can apply it to the trim, all that kind of good stuff. It's water-based, it's not gonna stain. It's not gonna pick up or attract any dirt. Works fantastic. And number two that I always use on every car is ceramic detail spray from Technician's Choice. This stuff is absolutely fantastic. I use it as I can add protection to the paint. I can use it as a quick detailer to remove any little streaks that are left behind. It's just a fantastic product. I highly recommend it. If you haven't used this stuff, get some. It's, it's really, really good. And then um, obviously for the windows, if you know anything about me, I just use water on the windows along with microfiber towels. So I don't carry a chemical for that. But the water and microfiber towel, microfiber towel is a fantastic choice. It does a 
phenomenal job. Doesn't leave any hazing, doesn't leave any streaks. It's just a really, really good choice. It's what I've been doing for the last 15 years. Okay, so that's five items, but we have a bonus, obviously. The, uh, the reason I didn't include this in just in the five is because I don't use it on every exterior, right? If I'm just doing an exterior wash, I'm not using it. But outside of that, very, 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 very important tool for your exterior of your car, a nice dual action polisher. What is dual action? Well, dual action means that it spins just like this, like a drill would. And that's what your typical like old school rotary polisher will do. It just spins in one direction. It's geared for the whole thing. It creates a lot of heat. It will correct things and do a really good job and really fast. However, it's dangerous. You can heat up the panel too much. It'll burn through the paint. You can leave marks. Um, I still use them every day in my, well, not every day in my business, but whenever I'm doing corrections, there's definitely a place for a rotary tool. I use them all the time, but my go-to is the dual action polisher. So again, spins that way freely, and then it's also geared and does a circular motion. So it oscillates and kind of mimics the motion of your hand if you were doing it by hand just at a way, way, way higher speed. So fantastic choice here. This is the MaxShine M15 Pro. This one's in green. I don't know if this is available anymore, but they have a nice black color. Um, this is my go-to polisher. Um, it is corded. I also like some, uh, I also like the DeWalt polisher that's battery operated. Um, there's another brand, SPTA has a, cordless option that's that's really good for the price for what you get with a cordless option so i'll link all those down below but um, if i have to go with one polisher i would go with the max shine m15 pro fantastic polisher i don't have any issues with it i know they stock all their products up in uh, i guess it's technically orange county to la area um, so if you if there was any issues with it they can get parts out and uh, everything is good to go. So fantastic choice, way more cost effective than some of the other professional grade polishers. Um, and I love it. All right, so that's it guys. That's your list of five plus one, <laughs> one little bonus, uh, but five items I use on every exterior of every car that I work on. That's it, I hope that helps you guys. Please make sure to like the video, make sure you subscribe, turn on the notification bell. We'll see you on the next one.